And welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. More high school football in this segment as we have another seven-on-seven -seven passing league. Of course, they're not real games, and for the most part, unless it's like a tournament, they don't really keep scores, but it's great competition and uh, great ways to get better, especially for the quarterback and his receivers. And uh, defensively, the secondary gets in uh, a lot of great work, especially in a controlled environment when you play other coaches and other teams are familiar with, like head coach Chris Chaddock in Indian Springs, the Coyotes going up against Redlands East Valley and Grand Terrace. And they've got some great head coaches as well. Uh, Chris Mailo, of course, at GT. And then Gavin Pichot at Redlands East Valley at Rev. And uh, you can see a lot of uh, both, all the teams, all three of them were making some big plays, uh, quarterback to receiver. And again, uh, not necessarily any linemen, no helmets, no pads, but still some pretty good competition and uh, some valuable uh, learning experiences, certainly um, for all these teams as they get ready for that first game of the season. We had a chance to catch up with Indian Springs head coach Chris Chaddick and offensive coordinator Gary Headland to talk about what they liked from this seven-on-seven -seven action and how the team is improving, getting better, uh, building up to that first game of the year. Here's Coach Chaddick and Coach Headland. Uh, man, some seven-on-seven -seven action against some really good competition. Uh, what do you feel like you guys did pretty well tonight as a team? Uh, I think we really grew as a team tonight, actually. Uh, last time we played Grand Terrace, it was like our first day back and from, from uh, our little, like, dead period. And uh, we came out a little flat today. We came out with a lot more aggression, a lot more intensity. We got to play some guys, Redlands, that are kind of like on the rev I was kind of on the border with us, got to play against good friend Gavin Pichot and a Coach Smalls that I coached with at Colton. And, you know, it was just good to get the, the competition going. And I thought we all helped each other. We all served as each other. All three teams really helped each other out. I think uh, all the coaches would, would say that. It was good work today. You know, and speaking of competition, as we get closer to that first game, August 19th, which feels like it's right around the corner, um, this is good competition to kind of get those juices flowing, right? Like real game, you know, live action to get ready for that first real contest in August. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, as, as we get better as a program and as we elevate, um, we're, we're trying to compete against guys that are going to push us to a different level. And, I mean, Grand Terrace is a traditional powerhouse, Rev. Rev. Uh, coach Pichot is building a good thing here and you know all credit goes to my coaching staff I got to tell you I got a, I got a great group starting with coach Hedlund my offensive coordinator who just seems to just pull some magic some more magic out of the bag every single time even coach Pichot was saying man what a blessing that guy is and I'm, I'm telling you that guy that guy is special and you know we got some good uh, young linebacker coach, Mark Burrito, and uh, Coach Carradine. Both guys played for me, one at Summit, one at San G. And, you know, we got some continuity left on the staff with Coach Cordell, who's, like, out doing his Arena League thing. And, you know, uh, we're, we're looking forward to August 19th. It's going to be great. And, Coach, finally, going up against Grand Terrace and Redlands East Valley, um, you know, great competition. Obviously, they're going to make you – you guys better. Do you feel like you were able to hang with these guys? Like you said, two traditional powerhouses, um, which obviously it's kind of a measuring stick for you guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, one of the things that I'm proud of is we started off initially a little slow, and then as it went on, we just got better and better and better, and we, you know, we figured out, hey, look, we can play with anybody if we have the belief. And, and that's the big thing. The big thing is, you know, we, we've, we've, we've started – and we're here, and like it says on the shirt, the standard is the standard. We've got a championship standard here. We're expecting to go and compete for league championships, compete in the playoffs, and ultimately win a championship. And the only way you do that is you play teams with championship pedigree, like Grand Terrace, like a Rev, that have won those league titles, that have won those CIF titles. Um, you know, Coach Smalls comes from a team back in the Colton day that pulled off one of the great upsets ever when they upset Rancho Verde, you know, so, I mean, and, and Coach Pichot's got himself his, you know, championship over at San G. So that's just championship DNA. And when you get to play those guys, you get better. We get better by playing against that. We elevate our competition because, you know, that's the standard that we set for ourselves. 
I think we have some good playmakers, uh, some returners. Jesse Jimenez is a returning All-CIF player at wide receiver. Um, he leads our receiving core. Kelvin Ford uh, is another returning starter, All-CIF player for us at wide receiver that can make a lot of plays. And then Darren Harris um, uh, switched over from an all-purpose back last season where he played running back, receiver, even threw a pass in the semifinal game. Uh, but now he'll be the quarterback this season, and uh, he's a special athlete that can do a lot of things and really understands our offense well as a three-year player for me. Getting a great athlete to, to move to quarterback full time. Um, I know it's just seven on seven, but this is valuable experience then for your quarterback, right? Oh, without question. Um, you know, Binky, as he's known by his teammates and coaches, uh, does a really good job. He, he understands the offense extremely well. Um, and being a receiver, he knows where the holes are in a defense um, in a special way that I've never had before with a receiver switching to quarterback. So he really is putting the ball in some uh, some really good holes and, and, and leading the team in, a, in an effective manner, doing a good job. Next up, Gavin Pichot, the head football coach at Redlands East Valley, going into year number two with the Wildcats. Last year, they finished with an overall record of 3-7, and seven, just missed out on the playoffs, but Coach Pichot is hoping to get these young guys going in the right direction, get back to the postseason. Some of these young guys got some great experience last year. That will pay dividends going into this season. Can they put it all together with that great quarterback, Isaiah Holly and the guys, and get to the playoffs? Here is Gavin Pichot, the head football coach for Redlands East Valley. Uh, I know it's just seven on seven, but mm -hmm. still some good competition. Absolutely. What did you like from your offense and defense tonight? Uh, quarterback was in a little bit better rhythm than he was at our tournament this Saturday. Um, we got a lot of guys some work. We got our freshmen some work. We got our twos some work. Uh, our second string quarterbacks kind of new and figuring it out. So. Uh, Got some good competition, you know, you know a couple CB, uh, CIF deep playoff runners that we're playing against here today. Got a lot of speed, got a lot of talent, so we need to see that. For us, it's not about coming out here and winning. It's about coming out and competing, trying to get better. I think we did that today. I was going to say, do you feel like this team grew a little bit tonight? Definitely. I think, uh, you know, any time we can come out and execute our offense and execute what we're doing on defense, I, th I still think we have a long way to go. But I think the execution was pretty good tonight. Are these signs to keep you positive? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> And that was Gavin Pichot, the head football coach at Rev. When we come back here on Sports Weekly, we will head out to San Manuel Stadium as the 66ers uh, had a special uh, celebration for the Cajon softball team coming off a of CIF championship this season and the sights and sounds from the Kenny Clark Youth Football Camp at Carter High School. That's coming up here on Sports Weekly on IEMG.